Welcome to the Art Lady channel. Today's lesson is on uh, shore birds, like the shore of a lake or the ocean. Um, and I say it's shore birds because you can turn this bird into anything. This is like something like a flamingo right here. But if you wanna do a herring or a, a crane, it's any bird that has a long neck with some long legs. Uh, but basically we're focusing on this long neck. Um, and I'll show you some student examples as I go along. Uh, for example, this one is more in the uh, crane family or the herring family, like a blue herring. So you can use your imagination on how you want to color this. Uh, but we're going to be doing some patterning and texture on our birds, getting some feather textures in. So you'll learn some different techniques. Uh, the first thing we want to do is use a bigger, wide brush. And we want to do the bird. So the body, the actual body. So I'm going to use a, a blue family. And so I'm going to take the lightest blue first as a base color. And I want to be positioning the head. That's the first thing we're going to position. So you want to make sure you have plenty of room on this side for your beak. So I'm going to go ahead and find my center. And from the center, I'm just going to jump over a little bit. So there's my dead center right here. And from this dot, I am going to paint a circle in. And I'm going to just draw the circle like I did with my brush. And then I'm going to do it slowly. Let the hairs drag behind as I create the edges of my circle. Right there. And it flows perfect. It should be, you don't want it to be too small. You want it to be at least wider than two fingers. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take off, I'm gonna draw with this brush. So I'm coming across the top and I'm gonna find my center of my paper right here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come across the top and curve right to the center. It's kind of like driving a car. You're gonna make a road and drive, drive right down. Then I'm gonna take my hand and place it on the bottom of my page. And I'm going to, let me show you the bottom. So these fingers are touching and I'm gonna squish my fingers together and put a painted mark here. That's a guideline. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to paint across and I'm gonna drive my car, curve it right down. This will form the body. This is a close up view. So fill this in back and forth and I'm gonna do this very quickly. You take your time and make it nice and neat. And then I'm gonna connect now the neck comes off the body here. So I take my brush at the bottom and I'm gonna go up so I'm taking it off the bottom and up. Now this is my halfway point, so make sure you start about halfway from your, your body. So you want your hand to be at this end. So I'm coming off and then I'm gonna slightly curve it. These birds have very curvy, very unusual necks. They can, it seems like they can bend them any way. Now you're gonna just refine your neck shape, go slow, let the hairs drag behind the brush. See how I'm cleaning up my edges? And I wanna blend this into the body gently. Have a gentle curve over here. And this is his chest area right in here. So I can come out a little bit wider. I still want this to be pretty gentle, curving. So I'm slowly building up thickness. Start it thin and then blend it into the head. Start it thin and then build up. And that is my body. Now we're gonna add some feather textures to this. So what I'm gonna do is go into a, a little bit darker value and then I've touched the lighter value. So I have a blending of both. And I'm gonna just scratch the surface using just the tip of my brush, just lightly. And I'm, doing, I'm not doing straight lines, I'm doing slightly curved, kind of like C shapes almost, but not the complete C. And I'm just gonna lightly put a few feather textures in. And this is of the darker values. So I can do darker values more toward the bottom. And if you really wanna define your wing, you can define the wing with the darker feathers here. Doing light dashes of line. 
And then where it's too dark, I touch and then just blend out. So these feather, these wings get a little bit longer. And because this background is wet, now I'm going into a light value, white, and I'm gonna put white on top. Because you don't want these feathers to really stick out. You want them to blend into the background, but you don't wanna stir it in so that it's all one color. And whenever I do detail and stuff, I keep put very little on the face area. I don't, I want it to be very light. I don't wanna distract from the eye. From here, I'm gonna go ahead and paint in an eye area. I'm just gonna give him a light color in the center, a small, small circle. I'm gonna let that dry a minute. Then you're gonna decide your beak color, and then you're gonna decide what kind of a beak. Some of the students, this guy wanted a um, spoonbill. Okay, so depending on the bird you're making and the shape of the beak, Here's one right here, pointier student. And this was grade two, three, grade three. So I'm gonna just go ahead for my beak. I'm coming out to a small pointy line. And I'm. this is an imaginary bird, so I'm doing a blue beak. Although I think there is a species that does have a blue. And I'm connecting it. So it's a very graceful thin line. Shorebirds have long pointy beaks so that they can spear the fish in the water. And of course they have those long, long legs. Now with a darker value too, you can put your pupil in because you always have a pupil right here. And what we've been doing is with these imaginary birds is we've been putting in really cool pattern around this edge. So I use the back of my brush to put in pattern. And I just print neat lines of pattern this way to make it de the design. Now for your background, you can go ahead and do in the grasses. So where is this bird? Long, narrow, skinny grasses here. And layer the grasses, two different colors. If you wanna put in some cat nine tails, you can. And I'll show you some student examples in a minute. And you continue filling up using long strokes. Now, this is wild grass because the birds are in, uh, you know, they're the shore birds. So it's not grass like it's grass in our lawns. So it's longer grass. And when you do grass, I'm dipping into the two different values. So I streak out both colors at the same time. And when you do drip grass, you slightly curve it. I'll do it slow motion. Slightly curve, whoops. And you can slightly curve it and overlap. So you get those beautiful layers of color when you're double dipping. And for double dipping, I'm going into both colors. And then I'm just lightly stroking using just the tip. And you're gonna fill in, you can fill in as much grass as you'd like. I kind of just did some swirls of color on this one. Just little lines of short and short strokes. I kind of did banana shapes. This, this is giving it like fields of flowers. And if you'd like, you can add different flowers to the background or, and here's an example with some students with flowers. You can do flowers in your background like mine or you can do cat nine tails. And a cat nine tail is a long, tall, wetland plant. So I'm putting some tall stems in. And then it has a fluffy brown, kind of a cup dog shape almost. And so I'm going to dip into some brown. And I'm just going to print my cat nine tail. I made sure my my brush is really pointy, and I am pressing the cat nine tail. So I press, and then I turn my brush the other way, and I press. And you can do it that way, or if you want to just paint it, you can. And these are the cat nine tails. 
and I'll put a few small ones in. And they like to grow in swampy areas. Now I'm gonna show you some of the student artwork in a mini art show. I hope you enjoyed making your shore bird. And this is from grade three. Students, and you can see the different feather textures. There's another one with cat nine tails. This one has a lot of flower texture background. Let's see if I can go quick here. I'll hold them this way and flip them. I love these flowers. They kind of remind me of wild poppies in the background of that one. Here's some blue flowers. This one has a friend or a baby on its back and it's catching something in its beak. Probably a fish. Here is the cat nine tails. They're kind of sideways and falling down in the water and you can see little bits of water and wave so it's up to you how you want to create this this is more controlled i love the way they detail the the eyes at the top the patterning here's some beautiful values in the back here And this one has the water, the slight water waves in the back. Be sure and leave a comment and let me know how yours came out. And I hope you enjoy your painted shorebirds.